Welcome to Astronomical Secrets, the channel that unravels the cosmic mysteries surrounding us. Today, we'll embark on a fascinating journey through the movements of stars in the Milky Way, exploring the complexities of galactic orbits. Get ready for a voyage that will challenge your perception of the universe and reveal surprising astronomical secrets. In this episode, we'll dive deep into the cosmic dance happening above our heads every night a choreography of unimaginable proportions that has intrigued astronomers for centuries. Imagine the Milky Way as a gigantic cosmic dance floor. On it, billions of stars perform a complex choreography, moving in patterns that, at first glance, seem chaotic but actually follow precise rules of physics. These stars aren't simply floating in space, they're in constant motion, orbiting the galactic center in a dance that lasts billions of years. The movement of stars in our galaxy is primarily influenced by the distribution of mass within it. The galactic center, dominated by a supermassive black hole known as Sagittarius A, exerts a powerful gravitational attraction. This cosmic monster, with an estimated mass 4 million times that of our Sun, acts as a silent conductor directing the movement of stars within a radius of several light years around it. However, it's not just this supermassive black hole that dictates the rules of the game. Dark matter, that mysterious invisible substance that permeates our galaxy, also plays a crucial role in this stellar choreography. It's believed that dark matter forms an extensive halo around the Milky Way, extending far beyond the visible disk of stars and gas. Its gravitational influence is fundamental in maintaining the galaxy's structure and influencing the movement of stars, especially in the outer regions. The stars in our galaxy move at impressive speeds, although they may seem static to us. The Sun, for example, travels at about 137 miles per second in its orbit around the galactic center. To put this in perspective, that's about 493,000 miles per hour fast enough to circle the Earth in just three minutes. However, considering the vast distances of space, it takes approximately 225 million years for the Sun to complete one revolution around the center of the Milky Way. This period is known as a galactic year. However, not all stars move at the same speed. Those closer to the galactic center tend to move faster, driven by the intense gravity of this region. For example, Stars orbiting near Sagittarius A can reach speeds of up to 621 miles per second. Stars in the outer regions of the galaxy generally move more slowly. This phenomenon creates what we call the galactic rotation curve, a graph that relates the speed of stars to their distance from the galactic center. This curve is a crucial tool for astronomers to understand the mass distribution in our galaxy and, by extension, the nature of dark matter. The Milky Way's rotation curve holds one of the greatest mysteries of modern astronomy. According to Kepler's laws, which describe the movement of celestial bodies, we would expect stars farther from the galactic center to move more slowly. After all, that's how it works in our solar system. Mercury orbits the Sun much faster than Neptune. However, observations show that stars in the outer regions of the galaxy move much faster than predicted. Instead of decreasing with distance from the center, the speed of stars remains relatively constant, or even increases slightly, in the outer regions of the galaxy. This phenomenon is known as the flat rotation curve problem. This intriguing phenomenon led scientists to propose the existence of dark matter. This invisible and mysterious substance seems to provide the additional gravity needed to keep outer stars orbiting at high speeds. Dark matter forms an extensive halo around the Milky Way, extending far beyond the visible disk of stars and gas. The discovery of this enigma in the 1970s by astronomer Vera Rubin was one of the pillars that led to the theory of dark matter. Since then, Astronomers and physicists have worked tirelessly to understand the nature of this mysterious substance that makes up about 85% of our galaxy's mass. Contrary to the popular belief that stars follow perfectly circular orbits, the reality is much more complex. Many stars, including our Sun, follow elliptical orbits. These eccentric orbits are the result of various gravitational influences, including close encounters with other stars, passage through the galaxy's spiral arms, and the influence of massive stellar clusters. The eccentricity of an orbit is a measure of how much it deviates from a perfect circle. A circular orbit has zero eccentricity, while a highly elliptical orbit has an eccentricity close to one. The Sun, for example, 
has an orbital eccentricity of about 0.07, which means its orbit is slightly elliptical. Eccentric orbits have fascinating implications. For example, they can cause stars to migrate to different regions of the galaxy over billions of years. This means that the Sun may have formed in a completely different part of the Milky Way and migrated to its current position over its lifetime. Some stars have such eccentric orbits that they make dangerous dives towards the galactic center. A notable example is the star S2, which orbits very close to the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. Its highly elliptical orbit brings it to within just 17 light hours of Sagittarius A at its closest point. Before we continue, I'd like to make a special request. If you're enjoying this content and want to continue exploring the secrets of the universe with us, please consider subscribing to the Astronomical Secrets channel. Don't forget to leave your like and share your thoughts in the comments. Your participation helps us continue producing quality content about the mysteries of the cosmos. The Milky Way's spiral arms, those majestic structures that give our galaxy its characteristic shape, play a crucial role in the movement of stars. Contrary to what one might think, spiral arms are not fixed structures but rather density waves that propagate through the galaxy. When stars pass through a spiral arm, they are temporarily slowed down by the additional gravity. This creates a cosmic traffic jam effect, where stars cluster together, forming the bright regions we see as spiral arms. After passing through the arm, stars accelerate again. This continuous process maintains the spiral structure of the galaxy, even though individual stars do not remain in the arms. This theory, known as the density wave theory, was first proposed by astronomers C. C. Lin and Frank Xu in the 1960s. It explains how the spiral structure can persist for billions of years without winding up due to the galaxy's differential rotation. Spiral arms also play an important role in star formation. The compression of gas and dust in the spiral arms creates ideal conditions for the birth of new stars. Thus, spiral arm regions are often dotted with clusters of young, bright stars, as well as nebulae where new stars are forming. Just as planets in our solar system can enter orbital resonances, stars in the Milky Way can also experience similar phenomena. Certain orbits around the galactic center resonate with the spiral arms or other structures of the galaxy. These resonances can have profound effects on the movement of stars. Some resonances can keep stars in stable orbits for long periods, while others can cause dramatic changes in orbits. This cosmic ballet contributes to the complexity and beauty of stellar movements in the Milky Way. A fascinating example of orbital resonance in the Milky Way is the so-called Lindblad resonance. This occurs when a star's orbital period is in a simple ratio with the rotation period of the spiral arms. For example, a star may complete two orbits for each rotation of the spiral arms. These resonances can create complex patterns of movement and even help maintain the spiral structure of the galaxy. Another important resonance is co-rotation, where stars orbit the galactic center at the same angular velocity as the spiral arms. In this region, stars tend to remain in the spiral arms for long periods, which can have significant implications for star formation and the chemical evolution of the galaxy. Although the space between stars is vast, over billions of years, close encounters between stars are not uncommon. These encounters can significantly alter the orbits of the stars involved. In rare cases, these encounters can even eject stars from the galaxy, creating what we call hypervelocity stars. Hypervelocity stars are particularly fascinating. They travel at such high speeds, more than 621,000 miles per hour, that they can completely escape the gravity of the Milky Way. Many of these stars are believed to be created by interactions with the supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy. When a binary star system passes too close to Sagittarius A, one of the stars can be captured while the other is ejected at extreme speeds. These encounters are not just astronomical curiosities, they play a crucial role in the dynamic evolution of the galaxy. They contribute to the heating of the galactic disk, a process by which the orbits of stars become more eccentric and inclined relative to the galactic plane over time. Disk heating has important implications for the structure and evolution of the Milky Way. As stars are heated, 
the galactic disk becomes thicker and more diffuse. This process is one of the reasons why older galaxies tend to have thicker disks than younger galaxies. The Milky Way is not isolated in the universe. It is part of the local group, a set of galaxies that includes Andromeda, our closest neighbor. Gravitational interactions with these neighboring galaxies have a significant impact on the movement of stars in our galaxy. For example, Andromeda's gravitational attraction is slowly pulling the Milky Way towards it. Although the collision between the two galaxies will only occur about 4.5 billion years from now, this influence is already subtly affecting the orbits of stars in both galaxies. In addition to Andromeda, the Milky Way also interacts with smaller galaxies. In fact, our galaxy is constantly devouring dwarf galaxies that come too close. This process, known as galactic cannibalism, adds new stars to the Milky Way and can disturb the orbits of existing stars. A notable example is the Magellanic Stream, a long strip of gas and stars extending over 100 degrees in the sky. This structure is the result of the interaction between the Milky Way and the Magellanic Clouds, two dwarf galaxies that orbit our galaxy. The Milky Way's tidal forces are slowly tearing these smaller galaxies apart, creating this impressive stream of debris. These galactic interactions not only add new stars to the Milky Way, but can also induce the formation of new stars by compressing gas clouds. Additionally, they can cause ripples in the galactic disk, affecting the orbits of countless stars. As we look to the future, we can predict some dramatic changes in the movement of stars in our galaxy. The predicted collision with Andromeda, for example, will significantly disturb stellar orbits, possibly resulting in a giant elliptical galaxy. When the Milky Way and Andromeda begin to merge, about 4.5 billion years from now, the movement of stars will become chaotic. The ordered orbits we see today will be drastically altered. Some stars will be ejected into intergalactic space, while others will be thrown into highly eccentric orbits. The merger process will take hundreds of millions of years, during which the stars of both galaxies will perform a complex and turbulent cosmic dance. Interestingly, despite the monumental scale of this event, most individual stars will probably not collide with each other. The space between stars is so vast that, even during a galactic collision, the chances of direct stellar collisions are relatively low. However, planetary systems around these stars may be significantly disturbed. After the merger, the resulting galaxy, sometimes called Milkamita, a combination of Milky Way and Andromeda, is expected to be a giant elliptical galaxy. In this new galaxy, stars will follow more random and less ordered orbits than we currently see in the Milky Way. The spiral structure we know today will be replaced by a more uniform distribution of stars. Furthermore, as the universe continues to expand and accelerate, distant galaxies will move further and further away. This will eventually isolate the Milky Way, or what remains of it after the merger with Andromeda, from the rest of the observable universe. The stars within this isolated galaxy will continue their cosmic dance, but on an increasingly lonely stage. On even longer timescales, the evolution of stellar movement will be influenced by the very evolution of stars. As stars age, many will expand into red giants before becoming white dwarfs, neutron stars, or black holes. These changes in stellar mass will affect the gravitational interactions between stars, gradually altering the dynamics of the galaxy. In a very distant future, trillions of years from now, most stars will have extinguished, leaving behind a population of compact objects, white dwarfs, neutron stars, and black holes. These stellar remnants will continue to orbit the galactic center, but their orbits will be increasingly influenced by occasional gravitational encounters, slowly heating the galaxy and making its structure more diffuse. Galactic orbits and the movements of stars in the Milky Way are a testament to the complexity and beauty of the cosmos. From eccentric orbits to fascinating resonances, from stellar encounters to extragalactic influences, every aspect of this cosmic ballet reminds us of the fundamental interconnection of all elements of the universe. Understanding these movements is not just an academic exercise. It's a window into our own cosmic history and our future. Each star we see in the night sky has its own journey through the Milky Way, just as we have our journey through life. The movement of stars tells us the story of the formation and evolution of our galaxy and gives us clues about the final destiny of the cosmos. By studying the movement of stars, 
astronomers not only unravel the mysteries of our galaxy, but also gain insights into the nature of gravity, the distribution of dark matter, and the large-scale structure of the universe. Each new discovery in this field brings us a little closer to understanding our place in the cosmos. And as we contemplate these vast scales of time and space, it's important to remember that we, as human beings, are an integral part of this cosmic story. The atoms in our bodies were forged in stars. And now, through our curiosity and intellect, we are unraveling the secrets of the very universe that created us. If you were amazed by these revelations about stellar movements in our galaxy, don't forget to subscribe to the Astronomical Secrets channel. Leave your like on this video and share your thoughts in the comments. Your questions and observations might inspire our next topics. Remember, every time we look at the sky, we are witnessing a cosmic dance of unimaginable proportions. The stars we see are just a snapshot of a grand movement that unfolds over billions of years. So, the next time you look at the stars, think not only of their static beauty, but of the incredible journey each of them is making through our galaxy. Until the next video, stay curious and keep your eyes turned to the stars. The universe is full of secrets waiting to be discovered. And together, we can continue exploring the wonders of the cosmos.